So, a while ago on Tumblr, I came across this image. It was funny to me, so I reblogged it. I didn't actually much think of it at the time, though, in terms of where it came from. I thought it was some, I don't know, freaky animation from the 60s or something. But then I was informed that this was a thing that was actually recent and was from YouTube. A channel called Krenigrisbau TV. I looked it up because I'm into surrealism and animation, so I watched it. I don't even know where to start with this one. Porednik usmetu, I think, or in English, Smile Guide, is a series of shorts from Poland. Man, are they weird. Like, I'm not convinced these weren't made by aliens from 80 billion light years away that knew nothing about Earth who landed in Poland and tried to create an art film or something. It is a mix of live action and animation, though incredibly and probably intentionally very limited animation. The main character, Agatha, is a young girl who is taken to Mushroom Land. She has paper cutouts of drawings of eyes on her eyes. She tries to apple until Maggie the squirrel tells her that she is full of mushrooms. God, I, I kind of love Maggie the Squirrel. I fear her greatly, but I love her. And like, these two, man, do they they make these shorts. They, they are a delight. Kind of. I should note that, God, I have no idea what these shorts are about. Every time I try to research this damn thing, everything I find is in Polish, and Google Translate isn't doing me any favors. At first I thought this was about you know, mushrooms, like, as in the drug, and normally I'm not one of those people who immediately thinks something is about drugs because it's surreal, because screw that mindset. But it kind of made sense at the, at the time. I seriously thought this was like an abstract story about a girl who was pressured into doing mushrooms by like a squirrel or something and like mushroom land was a metaphor for her being trapped by her addiction because like throughout these shorts it keeps cutting back to a silhouette of her mother telling how like Agatha went missing all like ID style documentary and I thought it was a metaphor for a mother losing her daughter to drugs or something, I don't know. And then I found out it might be about the Cold War from the Polish's perspective or, or something. I, I've like I've heard it kind of looks like Cold War propaganda in Poland, like at the time, but I, I can't find any so I can't really back that up. But considering when the Cold War started and was going on and the animation style, that, that makes sense in a way that I can't possibly explain. So that's probably more likely than the drug thing, but there are the things with the cows and the, and the hair, and now she's a snow queen, and oh god, what is going on? So if I know nothing about this thing, why talk about it? <laughs> Because if I have to watch this, then so are you. Like, I found this through a picture on Tumblr, and then someone told me where it was from, and I had no idea what I was getting myself into, and then I, I watched all three of them, and I was so confused and horrified, and I just, I don't want to be alone with this thing. Please don't leave me alone with Maggie, oh god. <laughs> well, if you're into intense, eerie surrealism and artsy stuff, I think I recommend it. It's so hard to recommend this thing. Like, I love it, I do, but... <laughs> She's a snow queen. But if you think you'll like it, watch it at your own risk. The episodes go one, two, and then four. There is no episode three. And be warned of a particularly jarring jump scare at the 37 second mark in two. It's, it's kind of loud. Also, I won't spoil anything, but the end of four is... So traumatizing. So if you're into this stuff and think you can take it, go ahead. 